nitrogen is essential for crops to maintain good yields. But nitrogen fertilizer can be inaccessible and expensive and is a major source of agriculture pollution. In order to feed an ever-increasing population, scientists are looking for new solutions to feed a hungry world. We've been working on understanding nitrogen fixation in legumes, so that's how peas and beans uh, associate with bacteria. It's a beneficial association that happens in the roots. And what the bacteria are doing is are helping the plant access nitrogen, which is a very limiting nutrient for plant growth. At the moment, we rely on the chemical industry to solve this problem. It creates a lot of pollution, and it also is limiting to smallholder farmers who don't have the financial resources to access those, those chemicals. Now, peas and beans have the capability to provide all their own nitrogen, and this is because of a symbiosis they form in the roots of the plant. The root airs of the plant attract bacteria living in the soil. The bacteria take up residence in the plant where they multiply in the roots, forming nodules. The bacteria nodules, using sugars from the plant, can combine atmospheric nitrogen with hydrogen to produce ammonia, a fertilizer that the plant can use to grow. Lots of the air is nitrogen. The air we're breathing right now is 70% nitrogen, but most organisms can't use that source of nitrogen, including plants. So legumes are quite unique in this capability to associate with these nitrogen-fixing bacteria and thus access the atmospheric source of nitrogen. And what we're interested in is not just understanding how that process works in legumes, but seeing if we can transfer that capability to cereal crops because cereal crops are li very limited by the availability of nitrogen. This is a natural process that's evolved in plants. If I can transfer that capability to cereal crops, then they can produce their own nitrogen without the need for additional input. If we can transfer this nitrogen fixing capability from legumes to cereals, it would have a great potential for removing a lot of the pollutants that come from agriculture and also reducing a lot of the CO2 emissions that come from agriculture because making the ammonia fertilizers and their application in agriculture is a primary source of CO2 emissions from the more industrial agricultural processes. We're trying to be intelligent about what we do and we're trying to use the solutions that are already there in nature in order to make agriculture more effective. We're not creating an artificial system, we're replicating what already exists in nature. For me, I would love to see the research that we're doing really out in the field. It would be absolutely fantastic if, if we could solve a problem as massive as nitrogen fixation. The nitrogen itself is such a big problem in food production and it's such a limitation to so many farmers around the world. If I can solve that, and increase food production in Africa, and at the same time remove one of the major pollutants in the world, I'll be a very, very happy man.